find myself in Eastern Oregon today. I'm next to the Malua River, right next to Juntura Hot Springs. It's already like 90 degrees out here. It's 10 in the morning. I'm not hopping in the hot springs today, but they are right over there. It's in a beautiful little spot on a bend off the highway. Uh, probably worth checking out at a time when it's not ridiculously hot outside. I am headed to the Owyhee Canyonlands. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a week in the desert in the canyonlands surrounding the Owyhee River. There are several branches of the Owyhee and they all tear little canyons through the corner of Oregon where it kind of butts up against Nevada and Idaho. See you out there. A lot of smoke coming down the valley in Ontario, Oregon, and um, wow. I plan to go south from here, but I think I'm gonna need to figure out where the fire is first and go in the opposite direction. So this presents a bit of a problem. In classic Sam Humans fashion, I took a random mountain road through a national forest over the top of a mountain down, you know, pretty intense dirt road, but for me, whatever. This, my car is cool. It's, I would even say it's badass. This might be a little bit much. Mm. Knocking on wood. Ooh, this road is mostly rocks about this size. A little bit intense. Those berms have been built up all over on this road there. They obviously don't want people up here, but people just have been driving over them. It's a little bit much for my little car. I'm gonna try to go that way, and hoping I have to turn around and go back that way. So this is what happened to the road I've been following for the last hour. It ends. It became a river. It continues over there, I think, but um, I'm gonna go back up the road and camp somewhere. on this road and why all those big berms were built on it. They don't want you going down this road for some reason, I thought. I wonder why not. But people keep going down it. Huh. Interesting. This campsite's okay. The river is really cool here, though. South Fork, Umatilla River. My plan had been to follow this road down into uh, Milton Freewater, which is kind of, you know, uh, not too far from Pendleton, honestly. I could have taken a left. Been in Pendleton in 30, 40 minutes. Gotta roll with the punches. That mental plasticity. You know, you gotta keep your brain plastic elastic ups and downs of life. Otherwise, you turn it into like a Trump supporter. Well, I'll be damned if it isn't just a beautiful night here along the south fork of the Umatilla River. I'll tell you something, though. When I think of the word Umatilla, I think of Umatilla, Oregon, the town. I should think of the Umatilla Indian tribe. It gives all of these things its name. But instead, I think of the Umatilla Chemical Weapons Army. Now, if you're driving down I-84 or you're taking that little left there to the Tri-Cities on 82, you're going to drive by all of these big dirt bunkers. And there's going to be signs that say Umatilla Army. They don't say Umatilla Army Chemical Weapons Army. That puts in every single one of those dirt bunkers as far as the eye can see. It's the United States' stash of chemical weapons. Right there next to the freeway.
Um, the wind seemed to have changed, and all the smoke that I was running from yesterday is not here. It was a little hazy when the uh, sun went down last night, but today it's blue skies and puffy white clouds and sunshine. So that means I'm going to stay here for a day. It's one of the rules of this first camping. When you find a good spot, stay there. Keep it. Hang out for a few days. Finding a good spot is you know, one of the reasons that I am usually game to do the crazy drives that I do and to drive over berms and rocky slopes and uh, you know, take a little bit of a risk is because I know I don't have to go back over it. I have a destination, an end point, and the road comes out somewhere on like a highway or a county road. It goes into a town. I don't have that option this time. I'm way out in the middle of nowhere, and no one knows where I am. Because I was just trying to get away from this smoke. I let some people know I was going north out of Ontario instead of south, which was my original plan. But that's as much as anybody knows. I'm totally on my own out here, so if I get stuck, I'm really stuck. There's, there's no one, no, AAA's not driving down that road to pull my car out. <laughs> Having myself a little walk here this morning. I'm kind of trying to get some exercise, but I'm being honest, it's my back, my knee, stay loose. Across where the road was washed out, um, where there was like four more places, the road has been washed out. There's nobody up here, you know, and get the car to the spot that I'm in right now. Probably hasn't for a few years at least. myself to that bear I'm pretty far away. Bears don't have great eyesight because of the smell. I said hi, I turned around, went the other way. Cool. And you know, the other side of that equation being, had I been singing and clapping and doing my thing, talking to myself kind of loud, never would have seen that mama bear in the two baby cubs. It's cute. Glad I saw going to give them their space though. Mama bears do not like to feel threatened. On the other hand, they also don't like male bears because they're a threat to their cubs. So more than likely, there is no big angry male black bears around here that I have to worry about. That poop is probably theirs. Back to camp now. I've been hiking for an oh, hour and a half, past two hours maybe. Huge black bear. You know, saying about the males, yeah, I'm wrong. Right there. Between me and where I want to go. Back 
waking up, doesn't see me. <sighs> Has no idea I'm here. It's like trying to pull down a tree or something over there. Eat it. I am upwind from it, or downwind. It's gonna smell me eventually. I'm gonna go try to scare it away. But wait. I'm gonna wanna play chicken with the black man. Hey bear! Hey bear! Right here, bear! Hey bear! Okay, well, bye bye, bear. Hello, bear! Hello, bear! It's so nice to meet you, bear! Hello, bear! Hello, bear! It's so nice to meet you, bear! He was just mowing on this tree right here, trying to pull it down, I think, and eat all the berries on it. Sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit. My heart's pumping pretty fast at the moment. It's got this new song. It goes like this. Shoulda brought the bear spray. Shoulda brought the bear spray. Yeah, I've got bear spray. From when I went to Yellowstone last summer. So I have it back at camp. Didn't bring it. Oh yeah, got me a stick for crossing streams. Double as a keep a bear at bay stick. Maybe. Send me to the woods to make art for the rest of my life. I'd be so happy with that. Like pages of a folded map The way forward, always where I am Send me to the woods to make art For the rest of my life and Give me that UBI Give me that UBI Give me that UBI Let AIs have the jobs Give me that UBI Send me to the woods to make art for the rest of my life. Think of all the songs I could write. Conversations with the trees. We grow wise beyond belief. Send me to the woods to make art for the rest of my life. Morning. Sunday. Getting out of here. Back up that road away from the bears. Over all the berms I drove down on the way in here and uh, try to make the long drive all the way from here. So six hours of driving, consider I've got at least two hours of road. That wasn't so bad. I made it up that road. Surprising, it was I think a little easier going up than going down. So I'm saying goodbye to the Wallawas today. This little uh, triangle of the Wallawas just right up north of La Grande. It's pretty wild up here. <clears throat> I wasn't even planning on coming up here, it just sort of happened. 
Saw bears and almost got stuck. The road ended because it was washed away by a river and now I'm going back. Peace.